every time you wear that shirt, it just makes me want to rip it off. You are so sexy when you pick me. I love the way you make me feel. The one easy idea you can use today. To unlock his undying devotion. You know that girlfriend of yours who has the perfect boyfriend? The guy with the gorgeous floppy hair, gorky smile, and big heart devoted entirely to one person and one person only. His girlfriend. You're so glad she found him, but honestly? You are so insanely jealous. It's hard to stop watching them. The way he's so attentive to her needs. The way they seem to share thoughts without speaking. The way he wraps his arms around her so tightly it's like they're one body. Watching them makes you ache. Because the guy at your side doesn't treat you like that. It's not that your guy isn't wonderful. Of course he's wonderful. It's more. How he treats you. He treats you like someone he's gotten used to. You know he doesn't wake up in the morning pinching himself for being lucky enough to snag someone like you. But you bet that's what this other guy does. You can see it in his eyes. The pleasure that radiates from his smile every time he looks at the woman he loves. So you ask her, half joking, half hoping, if he has any brothers. She just laughs. Nah, that's not what you need. She leans towards you and glances around to make sure no one's listening. Want to hear a secret? You nod eagerly. She whispers, our relationship was just like everyone else's before. But then I found out about this crazy secret. It's from this relationship coach named James Bauer. It's, like, the key to unlocking men. You nod even more vigorously, but she stopped talking. You follow her gaze across the room. Her boyfriend is holding up a drink, asking her wordlessly if she wants one. She shakes her head, blows him a kiss, and turns back to you. So, do you want to know what it is? Yeah. You say. If it will help me and my guy read each other's minds, like you two just did. Okay, then listen closely. Women across the world make one universal mistake with men. It's not their fault. They're just following common wisdom. Common wisdom says that men only fall for exceptional women. Exceptional bodies, mainly. If you see a woman with a man railing behind her like a puppy dog, common wisdom says you can be sure she has something you don't. It's such an obvious explanation and yet. It's dead wrong. That woman? She's no more exceptional than you. Whatever that means. But what she does have is a very special understanding of men. She understands that what matters most is not what he sees when he looks at her. But how he sees himself reflected in her eyes. The truth is this. Men fall for women because of how those women make them feel. When a man feels like a hero in a woman's eyes, he swears his undying loyalty to her. He can't help it. Most women don't have that effect on him. When he's around most women, he feels like a dumb guy. Like he's always doing something wrong. Like he needs a nanny to look after him. He can count on one hand the number of women who look up to him. Who really, really respect him. And he's always going to have a place in his life for those women. So, how do you make a man feel like a hero? It sounds kind of silly. Do you have to engineer some kind of scenario where he has to save kids from a burning house or a little old lady from getting hit by a car? No. It's a lot simpler than that. To make your man feel like a hero, there's one easy thing you can do starting right now. You can thank him warmly for every single thing he does for you. Did he offer to get you a drink? Thank him. Did he clear the dishes off the table? Thank him. Did he drive you to a meeting? Thank him. He's a hero to you every day, even though you may not see it like that. Has your man rescued you metaphorically speaking, any time in the last week? Maybe he dropped everything to help you. Maybe he was there when you needed a sounding board. Maybe his advice helped you make a difficult decision. We tend to take those things for granted. 
we expect it. It numbs us to the actual miracle of having someone to rely on. But the more you appreciate him, the more he appreciates you. Now, that's not how most people think. Most women think they can earn a man's appreciation by doing lots of things for him. They've got it backwards. The best way to earn a man's appreciation is to appreciate everything he does for you, no matter how little. It triggers his hero instinct. You can learn more about the hero instinct in James' video here. HTTP slash slash bitely slash his secret obsession to be irresistible. For now, just know that the key to unlocking his undying devotion is not in everything you do for him. But in how you respond to everything he does for you. Did he just wrap his arms around you? Give a little wiggle of contentment. Did he agree to watch the program you wanted to see on TV? Give him an appreciative kiss. Reward the little things he does, and you'll find your men striving more and more to please you. He's your hero. And that's what heroes do. But that's just the beginning. There's so much more you can do to trigger his hero instinct. There are phrases you can say, texts you can send, and little requests you can use to trigger his hero instinct 100 times more powerfully than just saying thanks. And because no man can resist a woman who makes him feel like a hero, it's worth learning a few of these emotional trigger points. Want to take your relationship skills to the next level with men? Then learn more about how you can master this powerful technique, from the man who invented it, in this short video. HTTP, slash slash bitely slash his secret obsession to be irresistible.